My dog looked at me like, why not? <laughs> Everybody should eat their own poop. <laughs> and that's the first thing anyone's going to hear on Space Quest Five: The Next Mutation, Part 3. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, when we left off, we uh, were getting a wedgie again, apparently. Let's... There we go. Oh, that's a good sound. The MD32 sound. <laughs> press my buttons. All right, so there's a lot that we can do with Droll. So at this point, we want to lay in a course, but we cannot do that until we hell Starcon to let us out. Let's see. We, need to talk to Flo, we actually then? need to go talk to Flo because <laughs> whatever. Hey, Link, sir. <laughs> We're clan for departure, Captain. I do enjoy that it, they all. Oh. We are ordered to proceed to Gangularis PU and kiss your you know, some, some, you know, play on words about yucky stuff. Kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> I didn't get that as, I think I called that kiss your ass you be or something when I was a kid. I had no idea that it was kiss your ass goodbye. That's the thing. A lot of these games you could play as a kid and just play for the playing, and then as an adult, you get a lot of the jokes and innuendos. Yes, sir. What do you want me to do? I want coordinates, Captain. I would like to play with my buttons. Oops. The buttons. I don't want to do that. Uh, we were going to go to Gangularis. Is that part of the uh, copyright protection? Yep. I'm pressing the buttons now. Coordinates locked in, sir. Ready to get underway. All right, so now we can go to light speed. L-I-T-E. No trademark there. <laughs> we'll go to warp as soon as we're clear of the station, sir. Whee! Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. One of the things they just simply cannot fit remember from the second game about that whole free Le'Veon Terror Beast whistle that we got that they keep making it like that we needed to pay for it. <laughs> this is like the second time. That's a running gag of this series. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, 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 it, that they completely messed up their own, their own plot. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. So we, yeah, at this point, we're just waiting to get there because we already did a bunch of stuff we could have done during this time. We're approaching our destination, Captain. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go to regular speed. Aye, sir. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Uh -oh. Something happened. There we go. I'm tracking a waste beacon, sir. Okay, so let's activate the RRS. Hi, sir. I'm going to push the buttons. You can get a robot to push the buttons. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like a <laughs> space... Um, Odyssey. Yes, with our husky bag. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. <laughs> oh my gosh, cat. I just had a flashback to the 90s when you, you did that. You were not getting. Captain, I'm picking up life form readings in the waste compartment. Oh, great. Captain. You better come down here. There are some strange scratchings and longing noises coming out of the trash bin. Is it an owl? Because if it is, just leave it there. Woo! I was already here anyway, so it couldn't be me. That trash was sacrilegious. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is it, oh high and mighty? What do you think is making that noise back there? I don't have any idea, sir, but you better go check it out. It might be dangerous. Well, you go check it out, Flo. It's your effing job. Oh, 
How am I doing so far as Captain Flo? Don't ask, sir. But I haven't... We just started. Okay, we don't need that. Oops. Yes, Captain. Any ideas what might be causing that noise back there, Droll? I have a couple of ideas, sir, but you probably aren't interested in my morbid speculations. Why don't you go back there and check it out? I'm sure it's perfectly safe. Hmm, that must be some strange new usage of the word safe I wasn't previously aware of. You sound like a cross between Zoidberg and Alan Rickman. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm going for. <laughs> There's definitely something in there, Captain. Could be dangerous. I like its little sad noise. Oh. <laughs> oh, gross. Would be new to us. Oh no, face hunter. It's snarf. No, it's a lot more fun. What the? Hey, he's a cute little bugger. I think I'll keep him. I'll call him Spike. And then he's leaving. Hey, where are you going, little fella? Cliffy is too engrossed in what he's doing to talk to you right now. <laughs> he's kicking. It has the appearance of and aroma of rotting garbage. My, what a lovely smell you've discovered. I love this. Roger. Nah, I'm sure Cliffy won't mind cleaning it up. <laughs> it's happening after all. Uh, it's so funny. It's like, well, whatever. <laughs> it's like the first time he doesn't have to be a janitor. And he <laughs> right. Delegating. So where did Cliffy run off to? I don't, I don't see him. S Spike? Oh, yeah. Spike. I'm sorry. I see Cliffy. He's in the background. <laughs> nah, I'm sure he won't care. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Interesting. We need to put him in the canister, don't we? At some point. Right. There he goes, because if you wait too long, he'll, like, acid the ship. Spike! Heal, boy! Heal! Am I... I feel like I missed something here. Because I'm missing points. And I'm missing five. I don't know what I did. Because I like to keep track and the cat is driving me insane this is literally the seventh time you have gotten up here while i've been playing this it's like a game with you stop it <laughs> i want to play the game can i press the buttons like i'm pretty sure i got everything that's what i don't understand hmm because you don't take the drill you don't take the dust buster even though you would think you would and you don't take the hammer. You don't take... So I'm pretty sure I got everything. But I wonder what I'm... Yeah, because you get these four. And I've always known that. But I know I'm not... Because when we played this last time, I was missing like ten points. And I got mad. And now you're just missing five? And now I'm missing five already. And I missed ten the whole game last time. And it was literally talk like it was at the end of the game when I missed it. So I'm trying to figure out what I've done. Is there anything you need to? Well, check? I was I was right all the way because you only get 180 is the most you can get at the beginning of the game. But I'll wait and see here because I can go back on our thing and redo it if I need to. But I'll wait until we get through this section. It might just be off, which happens. Okay. I don't remember exactly where you end up. Let's see here. 
did that. Yeah. There. Now it's even more messy. Have fun. <laughs> so I think he comes out of here. There we go. <laughs> You're faithful, but not completely house trained companion, Spike. Oh. Okay, I think you actually have to put him in there first. Because he's like all stressed. And then you put the ant out. There you go. You had to look at him first? I think it tells you. Yeah, I think. I, uh, your little buddy is gurgling <laughs> inside his habitude. Does it say like. Actually, it doesn't tell you that, but you are supposed to do that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Is that all we had to do? No, you actually leave him in there, but <sighs> poor little fellow must have eaten something that didn't agree with him. Those antacids should reduce the acidity of his metabolism. <laughs> Okay, I actually got caught back up. That's what I was kind of like. We'll just wait and see what, what happens. Is that the correct number of points then? Yeah. Because I looked and I was like, because eh, I like to keep track of the points. Oh, no, a captain's on the, on the bridge. Yeah, I like how Flo does not care at all. <laughs> I love that. That's not... Hey! Thanks for leaving this mess back here for me to clean up. Real captain-like. Thanks for taking care of the critter, Captain. I finally managed to patch up the deck. Hey, you're welcome. Oh, wait. It's all started. Abandoned ship! <laughs> Hailing, sir. Apparently, Starcon has more important things to do than talk to you right now, Captain. I just love how it uses the close encounters of the third kind. I was like, da 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 da. Woo! <laughs> okay, what do What's I. That happen? I forgot what we're supposed to be doing. Our last orders were to proceed to garbage pickups at Gangrenous, PU, and the son of the place. Kiss your ass goodbye. It always goes off before I get to that word. So I... <laughs> oh, how does the refuse recovery system work, Droll? The refuse recovery system, or RRS for short, is the primary means by which the Hoover class garbage scows perform their designated mission. You should already have known that, Captain. The underlying system is relatively simple. A vacuumatic containment field works in conjunction with tractor beams to suck up the debris and space trash. After collection, refuse is moved into the Eureka's quantum garbage compactor, where it can be reduced for transport to a designated dumping zone. Are you bored yet? Wow, and I thought the floor scrubber at the Academy was impressive. I hate you, Captain. When we finish our mission, where's a good place to go for shore leave? There aren't a, a lot of options open to us, Captain. The only place that's even halfway decent in this sector is the space bar. Well, maybe we'll have to check it out. I certainly hope we will, sir. I need to forget about this hell. <laughs> How did you come to be posted here? It's kind of a long story. Relax, there's plenty of time until the travel timer runs out. I was involved in a very unfortunate accident, sir. It was while I was serving on the SCS Stupendous. It was a mistake anyone could have made, really. I I'm listening. We were patrolling the neutral zone when an unidentified ship suddenly popped up on our screen. So, naturally, I opened fire with everything we had. Naturally. She was blown to bits instantly. Unfortunately, it turned out to be one of our own robotic freighters. Imagine your embarrassment. Yeah, any, anyhow, after that, I got canned and transferred to the Eureka. What did you do, sir? You must have screwed up pretty bad to get stuck with a command like this. 
or else ticked somebody off real good. Uh, uh, probably the latter. He made him slip on his bum bum and lose his hair in front of a pretty woman. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's how this happened. Why do you keep coming up here? Stop. I love you too, but I am busy. She's like, you're never too busy for me. She just wants wet food. She's not getting it. Speaking of that, did you see where uh, the cat, the the talking kitty cat died? No. It, oh. it died like two months ago. Well, that's, uh, I didn't hear that. No. Yeah, it, it didn't. It lived about three months longer than Steve did. That you know the show guy killed himself. Oh. I imagine with his depression, he probably would have been even. It would have been bad even if he had lived. Yeah. So let's, um, now that we've done that, and I've depressed everybody talking about Talking Kitty Cat, um, let's lay in a course, and let's go to PU. And let's That's place on the list. 92767. No, oops. Nine, <laughs> two, seven, six, seven. Coordinates locked and it's uh, ready to get underway. So let's go to light speed. I just love <laughs> the sound effects are amazing. What is it now, Captain? Well, you know about our destination. We're going to be you. It's kind of a stinker of a plan. You get that joke, sir? I got it. Your puny male brain can't understand it. Probably not. You rain. All systems operational. Everything else, Captain, or anything else, Captain. I'm kind of busy. Do you sound a little bit like Flo now? I know, I can't differentiate the voices. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> We're approaching our destination, Captain. Okay, regular speed. <laughs> Your ship has exploded. Game over. <laughs> Sierra's. I'm talking away, speaking, sir. Let's get our RRS activated. Hey, we're at 470. Bow, bow. It's a running gag. Husky, 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 husky trash. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Ooh, if I went out in space after that trash bag, I'd explode and die. It would be fun. Captain, I'm intercepting a rather unusual message on Starcon Priority Frequency 2. It's pr I'm putting it on the screen. Magneto Dome Heap, come in, Dome Heap. Magneto Dome Heap, come in, Dome Heap. This is Dome Heap. What in the Pleiades are you doing on this frequency? I have a lot of hard articles need to be disposed of right away. I thought I told you never to call me here. Meet me at the usual place and we'll discuss it. Done. Heap out. I wonder who it could be. Transmission terminated by Sprint. <laughs> I'm sorry, Captain, but I wasn't able to pin down the source of the transmission. Interesting, but we've done all we can do, so let's lay in a course. We got one more place to go. Yes, kiss your ass goodbye. Oh, that's locked in, sir. Ready to get underway. I'm going to push a lot of buttons because they are fun. I like buttons. Oops, no. Let's see, what do you make of that transmission flow? I don't know, sir. The content was really strange, especially since a Starcon command frequency was used. Can you pin down the source? I'm afraid not, Captain. 
they were using a metamorphic coding algorithm and frequency hopping pretty rapidly. It was all I could do to stay with them during the transmission. How did you ever intercept? Never mind. I, I don't think I want to know. You're looking especially lovely today, Flo. You pig, chauvinist. What? Excuse me. You pig, sir. That's better. Could you, could you give me a rundown on our last orders, Flo? Well, we, already, we don't need to do that. How did that message sound to you, Droll? Sounds to me like somebody was trying to unload a bunch of hot stereos, Captain. Why would anyone in StarCon do something like that? I haven't the faintest idea, sir. Would you like a stereo? A track player? Why won't you press the button? What's, what's Flo? Why is she so bitter towards me? Don't take it personally, sir. Flo recently separated from her 18th husband and is understandably distraught. She's kind of down on men in general. Wow, an 18-time loser. Wanna make something of it, Flyboy? I'm divorced. Better men than you. See what I mean? What was that? We've been hit by a proton torpedo. A tractor beam has locked onto us, Captain. We're being pulled in. But by whom? Get us out of here, droll. Helm not responding, sir. Welcome, Welpin Systems inoperative. I'm freaking out. Uh oh, warning, alert. We're being held, sir. I'm putting it on the screen. Roger Wheelcare, under the authority of Erg's extensively revised galactic statute, I hereby command you to beam down and surrender your person for arrest. Failure to comply with these instructions will result in the destruction of your ship and everybody on board. Looks like the Gipazoid Novelty Company still hasn't forgotten about that piece of mail fraud you pulled on them in Space Quest 2, even though it told you right in Space Quest 2 that it was free and that there was nothing to worry about. I thought all this war was over after I had that run-in with Arnoid on the planet Fleabut a few years back. You got wrong, human. It just goes to show, never send a mandroid to do a woman droid's job. Can't we come to some kind of arrangement? Beam down to the planet, your body will be disassembled and sold to various biotechnology firms. A interest collected. I'm scanning your ship. Any attempt at escape or subterfuge will result in immediate annihilation of your ship and crew. You have five standard time units before I destroy your ship, Roger Wilco. Bye, friend. I think she means business, Captain. I agree. We could, and could you hurry up and bring down, sir, before she gets impatient and blows us all up? I don't feel like chatting at the moment, sir. Shouldn't you be going down, sir? I'll make sure your family gets notified of everything if anything unfortunate happens. God will. I don't think Roger has any family. <laughs> well, she's not gonna get me without a fight. Whatever you say, sir. It's been nice knowing you. The music got me tense here. Yeah, he did. Like how he's like, Daddy! Get on there. Energize! Ooh, this is pretty. Meanwhile... Hey, I've been here before. Didn't we, when we did all that time jumping, go to this spot? No, but it looks similar. The ship is cloaked. Yep, she cloaked. So, in the next episode, we will... Explore, kiss your ass goodbye, and hopefully not kiss our own ass goodbye. Ooh, I 
I came with you. You better watch out. You're probably going to die. <laughs> Cedric, I thought you didn't like asses. I thought you liked wieners. <laughs> I like everything. I can eat it all. Of course. I'm a mortal and a pervert. And he's just, you know, a glut. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. We'll see you in the next episode. See you then. Bye now.